I know from experience that cooking from scratch can be challenging, especially with a busy schedule and a toddler attached to your feet all day. Now, what can make it a lot less challenging is having the right ingredients on hand. If it's five o'clock and you need to get dinner going, but you have nothing in your house that you could use for a meal, you will just end up ordering takeout, or at least that's what happens in my house. So I am doing a three-part video series focusing on all the things I keep in my kitchen so that I am ready to cook from scratch anytime. And this first video is all about the freezer. The first item on the list is freezer meals. Now, this of course isn't an ingredient, but I just couldn't leave it out because it's so easy to just double up whatever you're cooking and put the other half into the freezer for later use. But I think you're all familiar with that, so let's move on to number two, and that is meat. Now, I wouldn't be able to count on my fingers how many times has it happened to me that I bought meat, put it in the fridge, and a couple days later when I was getting ready to cook it, it was already spoiled. And then I discovered that you can put meat in the freezer. Mind blowing, right? Well, I don't know why I never thought about that before. I just didn't. And now I use it all the time and I put especially two kinds of meat in my freezer. One is a whole chicken and the other one is ground meat, usually a combination of pork and beef. I always put them into the freezer right away after the grocery trip and then I put them in the fridge once I'm getting ready to cook them. So for the ground meat, that's usually in the morning, of that day and then like in the evening I'm cooking it. For the chicken, it takes a while to thaw, so it needs to be in the fridge for like a day and a half or something. Now obviously you can put all kinds of meat into the freezer, but I'm just the most familiar with cooking those two, so that's what I tend to use the most often. The next item or items on the list is vegetables and fruits. And this is both raw and cooked. Throughout summer, as all the different all, as all the different fruits are coming into season, I try to cook with them as much as possible, but I also like to keep a lot of them in the freezer because we want to enjoy them in the winter. So in my latest video, you saw me do that with the strawberries. So I'll usually just clean up the fruit, put it in the freezer, and then I use it for all sorts of like breakfast pies, maybe to go on pancakes and things like that. We have plenty of blueberries, raspberries, and red currants just ripening in our country house garden, so those will fill up my freezer pretty soon as well. As for the veggies, spinach is definitely my favorite. I use that a lot when making this sort of like a creamy chicken sauce. Um, I also use peas quite often into soups and all, all sorts of other meals. And then it really varies. Um, sometimes I will cut up some carrots, maybe beetroot, celery, parsley into like french fries or just wedges and either freeze those raw or actually bake them in the oven first and then freeze them. That way it's super simple for me to pull them out and just put them as a side to whatever meat we are having that day. And finally, the last thing I always have in my freezer is bread. Now, similarly, like with the meat, I just never realized that you could put bread in the freezer and then it's absolutely fine when you take it out. Last year, I started making my own sourdough bread, another video on that coming soon, and I was giving a lot of it to my neighbors because we just couldn't eat it all. And then I realized that I can just put it in the freezer and my neighbors never saw my bread again. <laughs> Uh, no, just kidding. Of course, I do make some just for them every now and then. But seriously, putting the bread in the freezer has changed things so much for me. And it's so easy to do when I make the bread, I let it completely cool off like the one you see just behind me, and then I cut it into slices. And that's really what makes it very easy to then use because since it's in those slices, 
it takes a lot less time to thaw than if I were to put like the whole bread into the freezer. So maybe like an hour before dinner or an hour before breakfast, if I have the time, I will take out the slices from the freezer, just leave them on the kitchen counter and they will thaw just perfectly fine. All right, so those were the four things I always keep in my freezer that make it easy for me to put delicious meals on the table for my family. And next week, we are going to take a look at my pantry staples. See you then. Bye.